Hey guys, today I want to talk about unit vectors. Unit vectors are just vectors, but they're particular vectors. They have a length of one. Uh, it could be one meter, it could be one meter per second, it could be one anything. But the length is one, and it has a direction just like all other vectors do. We use these vectors so that we know what direction something's going without affecting the length of whatever it is we're talking about. The way we write them is we write them with a little hat over it, this little caret on top of the unit vector, such as unit vector i, written with an i hat, and we just call it i hat. Now there's some standard unit vectors. x, y, and z are our typical directions, so we have typical vectors, typical unit vectors for those. Uh, x is i, y is represented by a unit vector j, and z is represented by a k, and we write that as i hat, j hat, and k hat. That way we can represent all three directions and anything in between if we combine the vectors. Now notice that uh, x, y, z, that's alphabetical order. i, j, k is also alphabetical order. So just a tip to remember which one's which. Now we can use unit vectors to describe vectors. Every vector is going to be a combination of one or more unit vectors. So here we have the green arrow r. That's green vector r. Uh, and it's a combination of the x and y components of r. And we would call the x component uh, the rx i hat, meaning it's in the x direction. And the ry, the y component of r, is in the j direction. If we put some numbers to this to make it a little more concrete, we can see that r is just a combination of the vector 4i, so 4 in the x direction. It could be 4 meters, 4 kilometers, 4 anything in the x direction, plus uh, 3j. That means there's three unit vector in the y direction. Uh, so then we could do our Pythagorean theorem, we could do inverse tangent, any of those things trying to figure out magnitude and direction, or we could just leave it like this. We don't need to figure out the magnitude and the direction in degrees. Uh, we can just leave it like this and that represents a vector. We can also represent negative vectors. Uh, so if we take the, the 3 in the j direction and move it so it's pointing negatively, we would change our r to be 4i minus 3j. That is a complete representation of a vector. Sometimes you'll see it written that way. Other times you might see it as uh, 5 meters per second at 22 degrees. Uh, either way is a perfectly good way to represent a vector. Sometimes unit vectors are a little easier because you already have the x and y components. Here you already have the 4 and the 3. You don't need to figure those out. Uh, so it just depends on what you're given, what you're looking for as to whether you're going to use unit vectors or uh, magnitude and direction representation. See you next time.